Hey, what's up, guys? So, this plant, this tree that's behind me, is one of the best numbing agents, anti-inflammatories, antibacterials you can get your hands on, that you can forage for. In case there's a toothache, the resins, a resin from this tree, when applied topically, takes the pain away in seconds. That's not an exaggeration. It's not an exaggeration. It's known as the Balm of Gilead. Don't confuse it with the one from the Bible. This is a totally different plant or tree, totally different family. This is a poplar tree. It's a cottonwood, some people call it. We know it as the Balm of Gilead. Soon, you'll see buds like this. You see that? This bud here, it'll have thousands of them. This tree in the next few weeks will have thousands of buds. Resin field buds, this shit will be oozing. Within this resin are the medicinal properties. A good way to store these buds, here's another one. Yeah, this is from last season, last year. These buds, you'll collect these and they'll be much bigger and way more resin packed. They'll be oozing. You get a mason jar and you fill up the mason jar about three quarters. You add a carrier oil, whatever you want to use, olive oil, grape seed, it doesn't matter. I guess it may to you. Fill it up with oil. Over time, the medicinal properties from the resin will diffuse into the oil. You strain it, and if you use this shit topically, take pain away instantly. Deal with inflammation efficiently and well. Um, it can be taken orally because it soothes the mucous membrane. Anywhere it touches. Careful though, because uh, consuming resins orally over time can cause issues. There, there are better, more efficient herbs for treating um, internal inflammation and the mucous membrane. But as far as a numbing agent, there's very few plants that work as well as the bomb of Gilead. It doesn't have any buds yet. I suppose in the next five to six weeks, it'll have thousands. Collect responsibly, try to pull the buds from the bottom because those will be the older ones. From a more established part of the plant and we'll let the top develop, whatever. You have to harvest and forage responsibly. You have to. You've got to respect nature. She gives us these. She gives us these gifts, and we can show our appreciation by not spoiling and just being greedy. You don't need to be greedy. There's plenty for everybody. Peace.